You only know me as you see me, not as I actually am. We are not rich by what we possess but by what we can do without. Rules for happiness, something to do, someone to love, something to hope for. If you punish your child for being naughty, and reward him for being good, he will do right merely for the sake of the reward, and when he goes out into the world and finds that goodness is not always rewarded, nor wickedness always punished, he will grow into a man who only thinks about how he may get on in the world, and does right or wrong according as he finds advantage to himself. Patience is the strength of the weak, impatience is the weakness of the strong. Three things tell a man, his eyes, his friends, and his favorite quotes. But a lie is a lie, and in itself intrinsically evil, whether it be told with good or bad intents. Do the right thing because it is right. The only thing permanent is change. Science is organized knowledge. Wisdom is organized life. Heaven has given human beings three things to balance the odds of life, hope, sleep, and laughter. I have no knowledge of myself as I am, but merely as I appear to myself. Always recognize that human individuals are ends, and do not use them as means to your end. Most men use their knowledge only under guidance from others because they lack the courage to think independently using their own reasoning abilities. It takes intellectual daring to discover the truth. Give a man everything he wants and at that moment everything is not everything. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. Suicide is not abominable because God prohibits it, God prohibits it because it is abominable. Do what is right, though the world may perish. Look closely. The beautiful may be small. Enlightenment is man's leaving his self-caused immaturity. Immaturity is the incapacity to use one's intelligence without the guidance of another. Such immaturity is self-caused if it is not caused by lack of intelligence, but by lack of determination and courage to use one's intelligence without being guided by another. Supere ord. Have the courage to use your own intelligence. Is therefore the motto of the Enlightenment. Two things fill the mind with ever new and increasing admiration and awe, the oftener and more steadily we reflect on them, the starry heavens above me and the moral law within me. Great minds think for themselves. Feminine traits are called weaknesses. People joke about them, fools ridicule them, but reasonable persons see very well that those traits are just the tools for the management of men, and for the use of men for female designs. If justice perishes, human life on earth has lost its meaning. If man makes himself a worm he must not complain when he is trodden on. The hand is the visible part of the brain. Honesty is better than any policy. The wise man can change his mind, the stubborn one, never. The question is not so much whether there is life on Mars as whether it will continue to be possible to live on Earth. The two great dividers are religion and language. Out of the crooked timber of humanity, no straight thing was ever made. Live your life as though your every act were to become a universal law. Space and time are the framework within which the mind is constrained to construct its experience of reality. Dare to know. Have the courage to use your own intelligence. 
all perception is colored by emotion. Ingratitude is the essence of vileness. Always treat people as ends in themselves, never as means to an end. Perpetual peace is only found in the graveyard. In law a man is guilty when he violates the rights of others. In ethics he is guilty if he only thinks of doing so. A single line in the Bible has consoled me more than all the books I ever read besides. It is never too late to become reasonable and wise. Experience without theory is blind, but theory without experience is mere intellectual play. Morality is not properly the doctrine of how we may make ourselves happy, but how we may make ourselves worthy of happiness. There are two things that don't have to mean anything, one is music, and the other is laughter. The greatest human quest is to know what one must do in order to become a human being. All our knowledge begins with the senses, proceeds then to the understanding, and ends with reason. There is nothing higher than reason. I shall never forget my mother, for it was she who planted and nurtured the first seeds of good within me. She opened my heart to the lasting impressions of nature, she awakened my understanding and extended my horizon, and her precepts exerted an everlasting influence upon the course of my life. For peace to reign on earth, humans must evolve into new beings who have learned to see the whole first. Laziness and cowardice explain why so many men remain under a lifelong tutelage and why it is so easy for some men to set themselves up as the guardians of all the rest. If I have a book which understands for me, a pastor who has a conscience for me, a doctor who decides my diet, I need not trouble myself. If I am willing to pay, I need not think. Others will do it for me. Democracy is necessarily despotism, as it establishes an executive power contrary to the general will, all being able to decide against one whose opinion may differ, the will of all is therefore not that of all, which is contradictory and opposite to liberty. The bad thing of war is, that it makes more evil people than it can take away. Man must be disciplined, for he is by nature raw and wild. The human heart refuses to believe in a universe without a purpose. I had therefore to remove knowledge, in order to make room for belief. Thoughts without content are empty, intuitions without concepts are blind. There can be no doubt that all our knowledge begins with experience. If we knew that God exists, such knowledge would make morality impossible. For, if we acted morally from fear or fright, or confident of a reward, then this would not be moral. It would be enlightened selfishness. Maturity is having the courage to use one's own intelligence. It is through good education that all the good in the world arises. Two things are me most, the starry sky above me and the moral law within me. He who is cruel to animals becomes hard also in his dealings with men. We can judge the heart of a man by his treatment of animals. Genius is the ability to independently arrive at and understand concepts that would normally have to be taught by another person. Man's duty is to improve himself, to cultivate his mind, and, when he finds himself going astray, to bring the moral law to bear upon himself. The busier we are, the more acutely we feel that we live, the more conscious we are of life. 
Every man is to be respected as an absolute end in himself, and it is a crime against the dignity that belongs to him as a human being, to use him as a mere means for some external purpose. Act in such a way that you will be worthy of being happy. Thinking in pictures precedes thinking in words. Which quote did you like the most? Share your opinion in the comments below. Subscribe and don't miss out the chance to see the next video.